All right, this is going to be a review of the Coleman all-in-one cooking system, primarily the stock pot, um, which doesn't actually come with the all-in-one unit. That's an additional purchase. What does come with it, though, is the uh, the cooker itself and uh, three other pieces. Kind of a neat little system here. If you're just uh, going to put a pan or a pot on here, you have this grate. You set in there, and then two additionals. Uh, this one here for cooking steaks, and that one if you just need a flat pan, bacon, eggs, that sort of thing. Um, they all go in there one at a time. Uh, it specifically says in the instructions, do not place one on the top of the other for cooking. Uh, so you put in whichever one you need. However, for traveling, uh, they all fit in there, stack three on top, push these little clips in, it holds it nice and firm in there, and has a handle and a little buckle here to clip it so you can carry it uh, even has a little clip on the back for you to store this piece here in now that's actually meant to go to a little green tank uh, but my primary reason for getting this is to slow cook crock pot so uh, I'm gonna want to cook all day so I've bought the little additional hose you can get that at a Academy I think for $25 20 bucks at Walmart that lets you hook to a 20 pound tank because I will not actually be taking this camping I bought this because I wanted the crock pot now do remember if you find this system you're gonna buy the all-in-one system and that does not come with a crock pot if you buy the crock pot it does not come with the all-in-one system you buy those separately but it is made to go with the crock pot is made to go with the all-in-one cooking system uh, it does come with a bag for people that are really gonna take it out camping a little different than what I'm doing it's just gonna set at my dear lease and the bag is actually made a good size to fit the uh, cooker itself but uh, they were pretty smart in it. If you do buy the uh, crock pot to add to this, you can see here's a little zipper on the back that allows it to expand, makes the bag taller so you can fit everything in there in one bag. Even has a couple of little, uh, little pouches in the back for the little green tanks. Now, I actually got this because where I'm currently at on our deer lease, we run generators. Uh, we're out in the woods, we don't have power, and we tend to kill those during the day to save on gas, which prevents me from being able to run a crock pot. And I really enjoy just starting a pot of beans in the morning and them being ready when I come back in the evening. So that was my sole purpose in getting this. And uh, that's what this review will be about. Um, so the stock pot comes with two pieces. Just the stock pot itself with a lid, six quarts. And it's made where you can either set this, uh, you know, you can put the little silver grate on here over here to here, and you could just set it on there to boil water. For slow cooking, you actually put it in here. And uh, I guess that lifts it off the, uh, lets it get a little less heat for slow cooking, and that's what I'm really hoping to get. I'm gonna see if I can set this over there and hold this at the same time. one-handed there I finally got it. I didn't realize I still had these clips pushed in which wouldn't let it set down it does actually set on there pretty easy now my hope is with the, the combination that it really does the, the slow cook um, it's only a 5,000 BTU burner which I'll hopefully assist with that. I don't want anything to get too hot uh, towards burning or losing too much water during the day. Um, one thing I say I'm not too sure about it did come with a vented lid. When I standardly crock pot, I, there's no vents in the lid, so I know it holds. It's going to hold the steam in a little better. Um, so I'm going to have to watch that. Um, see if I lose too much water, where I got to keep a constant eye on it or not. Um, if it is a little bit of a problem, you know, reading online, real simple fix, put a sheet of foil down under the under the lid, no longer have vent holes. Um, but I'm really hoping what I want to get is that real slow cook where it just barely gets up to a simmer um, and just cooks all day. I don't want a rolling boil, and but hopefully it has enough power, and that's what we're going to find out at, at high to, to get up to that simmer. If not, I'd have to actually take it out of this, put this straight down to the fire, which... I prefer to keep it on this 
it um doesn't leave it, it kind of covers the fire a little better not so much exposed as to just that grate and the pot sitting on there so that'd be the first test just to make sure with the slow slow cooker it can get up to that simmer and the crock pot i'm used to using uh with cold water in it full it could take up to a couple of hours to get to that simmer so that's what i'm hoping to get out of this um and uh, you know of course if you need it hotter like i said you just take it out of the little container here and set it straight down um so it'll probably be tomorrow morning i'll actually start a pot of beans and kind of keep an eye on them and see how they do all right i did not start that pot of beans today turns out we're gonna go out to eat tonight so i'll do that tomorrow but i had a little time to kill so i just thought i'd put some cold water on here right out of the faucet and uh just see how long it take to get up to a boil or a simmer or one make sure it could um you'll notice i have the accessory cooking grates sitting beside it and that's a little breezy today and i hear that fire whipping around in there and i figured that'll affect heating and cooling time excuse me heating time so my first thought now is if i'm going to do this when i do this later if it's going to be a windy day i'll probably get some thin sheet metal something i can cut and bend just to make a little shallow box around the in case the whole thing i can set it in to keep the wind off of it so i'll come back and check this in a little bit see how long it takes to get up to that bowl about two and a half three hours into this and uh i still don't have a boil i mean it, it's very very hot you can't touch it with your hands it might just be on the verge of boiling tons of steam uh, with the lid on it I can't even hold my fingers over the little vent holes or it'll burn it but the wind may have a factor the winds picked up a lot most of the times when I walk out here to check on it I can hear the flames just flapping in the wind down there so it could be I can't really see in there real good could be just the wind not letting get the heat you know, keeping the flame from getting the heat it needs or just blowing the heat out from under it uh, I'll still try a pot of beans tomorrow set up a little wind block and see if it does any better all right it is 8 30 in the morning started a pot of beans got two pounds of pinto beans a little bacon a little onion uh, come back in a little bit and see how it's doing okay only about an hour and 10 minutes into this since i started it and where yesterday i had a, a lot of trouble with the wind trying to get it up to a a little boil or simmer today there's no wind and i've seen a few little bubbles popping there a little mild simmer going on so it's definitely getting hotter than it did yesterday so uh, wind's going to play a big factor so I think I will do the little metal box I was talking about to help keep the wind out of it but so far we're looking pretty good all right we are about two hours into it and we've got a good little simmer going there a little steam coming out the top uh, big difference everything's cooking pretty good it does make sense on the wind being bad with the you know blowing the flame down here and then the secondary pot it sets in uh, lifts the primary pot up but leaves a lot of airspace down here to let some of the heat out i guess you have wind blowing there that's blowing a lot of the heat out so not having the wind today and i got a little better wind block in case it does pick up makes a big difference in the heating okay i started these at 8 30 it's about one o'clock now so about four and a half hours into it i finally had to go and cut this thing to its lowest setting here because it will get up to a rolling boil <clears throat> uh, so i've been working it down and i just now got the lowest setting i'm sure i'll put the lid back on it might boil a little bit more than that but it uh, looks like it's going to work out pretty good all right now it's about three o'clock so uh, what about six and a half hours since i started these end up turning it um to i don't know just above 
the low setting here. And I finally got that nice little simmer I wanted. Didn't look like I had a lot of water loss even with that vented hood. And they look like they're probably about done. But actually, I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of sausage in there and let it cook a little while longer. Make a whole meal out of it. Oh, I'll say I'm pretty happy. All right. Go ahead and give you my final impressions here. I'm going to say, overall, I'm pretty happy. It's going to do what I need it to do. Um, say the biggest drawback is you're cooking outside, and so wind's going to be a little bit of an issue. So as long as you control the wind... Um, you know, if you're camping out of a camper, it'd probably be as simple as setting it up on the side of the camper. There's no wind. In my position, there's a particular place I'm going to cook. So I'm just, like I said, get some thin sheet metal, make a little box to set it in for those windy days. Um, but, and that's in the design, but that same design, I think, is what allows it to be a so, slow cooker. And that's, uh, this outer pot is connected to this plate you see here which lifts it up off the fire a little bit to cut the heat down and then you have that outer pot it's also vented in here to keep the heat down and then the actual pot sitting above that venting so as long as you control the wind I think it's going to make a pretty good slow cooker okay other than that the only other thing I'd like to do and I'm in a position where I don't really have to leave this unattended. It's something I'll start at after the morning hunt. And when I go out for the evening hunt, we usually always have at least one, if not more, people that do not hunt. My wife doesn't hunt, so there's always somebody there to keep an eye on it. But if, like most people are used to leaving a crock pot unattended, and if somebody was going to do that, and I've done an internet search for it, and I've been unsuccessful in finding anything, but something I can add in right here some kind of tilt auto off switch so if it did get knocked over an animal come up smelt the food knocked it over whatever there's not just a flame on the ground it, it would make me a little more comfortable if I could add something in here that got knocked over cut it off um, if you're watching this video and you know of something like that uh, drop a message on there I'd appreciate it uh, I've done an internet search for it and when you put in auto tilt shut off for propane you just get pages and pages of um, upright heaters so they obviously make a little component that can do that. It's just finding that little component separately that I could add in here. But overall, I think Coleman did a real good job. I will be keeping this and probably use it just about every time I go to the deer lease. And that'll do it.